Hey guys and gals, what's crack a lacking? Spicy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to another video. Hey, if you're not subscribed to my channel yet, why don't you check out a few more videos? And if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything else that I have going on. Went to the store today to pick me up some tobacco because I was out. And I usually don't buy cheap dip because I just, you know, I, <clears throat> I dip all day. I dip like a can a day. Um, and I don't want cheap dip. But I seen a can of tobacco on the shelf today at the tobacco store, and I don't think I've seen it there before. I don't know if they just got this in or what. Uh, but I asked them about it, and I said, you know, what is that? And they was like, oh, well, we got it not too long ago, and uh, it's been flying off the shelf. Well, yeah, because it's cheap. Um, I, I have seen, I think, Longhorn has come out with pouches, or when, when they do pouches, uh, they do a sale. I think they're like 99 cents, but that's pouches. This is a whole can of tobacco. Um, and it is uh, wintergreen long cut, but a dollar oh nine a can. And I asked them, I said, is that a sale price? Are they on sale right now? She says, no, that's the price for the can, a dollar oh nine. Each, each uh flavor they got you know they got wintergreen uh natural uh straight mint they have them all and it's called decade i don't know i don't know about it dollar or nine premium moist tobacco decade wintergreen long cut uh let's see made in the usa a hundred percent imported tobacco okay that's it's gonna tell me it's not gonna be the best tobacco in the world uh who is who makes this um cn smokeless company okay all right well dollar a can premium moist tobacco let's crack open this can and see what it's all about dead gummy i clipped my thumbnail i ain't got no can opener that's all right. I'll take care of it. Always cut away from yourself. Be safe with the blade. All right. Okay, well, I mean, it don't have a bad smell to it, but it don't have a really good smell either. All right, so there is the the cut it's kind of dry to be honest with you it's not real moist when it says premium moist tobacco so let's get us a little lipper gotta get that little killer filler alright so right off the bat it's really it does it's really winter greeny it's almost like like menthol almost whoo wee and it's don't have a really good flavor to it i mean right off the get-go all right so i'm gonna let that marinate in the mouth for just a second while we're waiting let's talk about my my dip ball back there like i said in the video whenever i was doing uh when i introduced my uh, YouTube studio everybody's done a the, the whole dip tower before and I've never seen a whole dip wall so I've done this up took me about eight hours in total to sort out the cans stack them up get them all super glued up there and the the wall starts back here right there by my gun cabinet it goes all the way around to the window and I still have this little space right here to fill in but that'll be in due time so I've been asked for how many dip cans is up there well I took the time and counted the cans there is 560 cans on this wall at the moment I'll be putting more obviously but that's how many is up there right now I done an average of what how much this would cost 
it did not cost me that much because I had a couple friends uh, give me some dip cans over the years. It's taken me about three years to collect this many cans. Um, I've had more cans. I had some other bags, but uh, in the move, when I moved to Texas and when I moved back, I think I lost a couple bags. And I, I know one bag tore open and I got ticked off. I just threw all of them away. But it's taken me about two, two and a half years to collect all these cans. And I've done an average to see how much it cost to do this. And I, I averaged up uh, about $3 a can. Uh, most, most cans on here is Timberwolf. And I see a lot of buy two for three ninety for two ninety nine. Uh, Grizzly cans is about two forty nine. I know Copenhagen is about three dollars three fifty. So I done that. So five hundred six cans times three dollars a can comes out to be one thousand six hundred and eighty dollars. That's how much my wallpaper costs. <laughs> Not too shabby. Saying that I didn't pay that much for all them cans. So that just answers uh, one of the questions I've had about my wall back there. Now let's hop back into talking about this uh, this decade dip. I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. The, uh, the tobacco is rough on my gums. It's not soft like, uh, well, Timberwolf is really not the softest tobacco, but this stuff is pretty rough. Today we'll be using the OD mud jug. Um, the flavor just, it says wintergreen, but it's so strong of a wintergreen, it's almost like menthol, a little menthol -y to me. It really burns, burns the tongue and burns the gum. I don't like that. Uh, Timberwolf, it is, you know, the wintergreen's kind of mild to me. Um, this is like, I don't know, spearmint, straight spear almost. I don't know. It's just, I don't like it. I give this, I give this a 2. A 2 out of 10. I would not buy this can. I would not recommend this dip to anybody. Uh, the only reason I give it a 2 is if I was like down on my luck and scrounging for change, I may can get a dollar nine dollar ten to give me a dip but other than that I would not I would not get this I will I will get Longhorn before I got this all right guys and gals well, that's it that's all I got for you today I want to show you that that is the cheapest dip that I've ever bought and it will be the cheapest dip that I will ever buy again because I'm not gonna buy I'm not gonna buy that again but can't be dipping without one of the best platoons in the world Go over to mudjug.com, check out their website, get yourself a mud jug. These things are awesome, I love them. Uh, as you can tell, I got quite a few of them over the years. Uh, whenever they come out with a nice design, I'll try to grab one up. And they got a pretty cool deal. If you get a mud jug, you can also get one for free uh, with some of the purchases, or you can uh, choose to donate one of your mud jugs to, uh, to the military, and they'll send one off overseas or to a military base I think it's a pretty cool setup that Darcy has going on over at Mudjug so go check them out I'll leave a link down in the description below for Mudjug.com I mean they're pretty cool they have little um, little mud jugs that fit in a cup holder and even got a little stealth mud jug fit in your pocket ever since I found out about Mudjug I have not spit in another bottle it makes it great and these things they don't spill Alright guys and gals, that's it. That's all I got for you today. Hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, give this thing a thumbs up. Those things are awesome. It makes me all happy and giggly inside. And I'll catch y'all next video. Until then, remember, everybody's got a little backwoods in them. I'll catch you later.